Welcome to AEW. Now, what is your strategy here? Why would I tell you about my strategy? Nyla Rose is going to steal every opportunity you have ever dreamed of! Welcome to Jobbed Out, the wrestling editorial that reminds you that in wrestling, nobody is scared of a kitten. That's why you send out the cougar. Tonight on AEW Dynamite, a show that I often don't actually get to catch because, you know, I don't have TNT or cable, really. But we got ourselves another pairing between an up-and-coming talent and a legendary name in the business. Following the likes of Tully Blanchard, Arn Anderson, Jake Roberts, and Taz, the newest legend to get their manager's license in AEW is... Vicky Guerrero, who will now be the mouthpiece of the native beast and former topic of discussion on my channel, Nyla Rose. So let's address this first. Nobody is ever going to say Vicky Guerrero was a great wrestler, or a wrestler at all. She was never supposed to be. Vicky Guerrero is in this business now because the WWE was loyal to Eddie and his contributions. They gave her a job after her husband died to ensure the family was stable and secure. Granted, the treatment the WWE gave Vicky during her tenure was not the greatest, and when Vicky did get a guest spot on AEW Dark, they basically blackballed her from the WWE mention entirely, just like they did to Jericho before her. As for whether it's a good fit, though, well, I can already tell that we're gonna have two different conversations from opposing sides here. On one end, AEW is bringing in another recognizable name to try to give their show legitimacy. On the other end, AEW is bringing in another old WWE name to get attention on themselves, and not a big name either. Sorry, but here's my take on it. AEW does have a bit of a fetish for bringing in established names, something we've seen from the likes of TNA, to varying success. But the obvious difference here is, in TNA, the older names would show up and try to be the performers they were, and it did not always work out. In AEW, they seem to know their limits, so they take on a new role instead of trying to re-spark those glory days. In TNA, the brightest talents on their roster usually found themselves getting pushed down as the incoming WWE releases would take over the main event. While in AEW, these names stand more to the side and offer an exclamation point to the talents that they're already working on. Taz isn't fighting for the world title, he is acting as a mouthpiece for Brian Cage, somebody who can absolutely go, but doesn't necessarily have those mic skills. Arn Anderson is a nod to history and tradition while he's backing Cody Rhodes' vision of basically turning the whole system upside down. And let's not forget Jake Roberts, the meticulous, well thought out, devious, devising individual who's partnered up with Lance Archer. You know, the Hulk smash guy. Well, that's probably mean, but the point is that Archer isn't really more of a schemer, he just goes out there and wrecks shit. Nyla Rose is a dominating beast, but even in introducing Vicky, you can tell that while she's a menace against smaller women in the ring, she is in dire need of help on the stick. Hey, at least we don't got Brandy trying to make another nightmare collect- oh God damn it. So yeah. Vicky gets a paycheck, and AEW adds the Guerrero name as they build their legacy while they continue to make stars of Rose and Darby Allin and Brian Cage, Lance Archer, Orange Cassidy, and the like. I'll tell you this though, that theme song? That sucker's gotta go. Ah! What? <laughs> Vicky! Vicky Guerrero! That's just my take though. What do you think about Vicky Guerrero stepping into a more regular role on AEW TV? Do you think it's a win for all parties involved, or is this just another hire that's not going to move the needle? Let me know what you think in the comment section, and be sure to follow the channel for more, because I want you to be a part of this conversation too. For now though, I better get my shoulders off the mat, so thank you for tuning in to Jobbed Out. I'll catch you next time.